Hello, my name is Diane Cooper and I am reporting for Richmond upon Thames College News. This short video is discussing the problems of dog excrement. First, we are starting with the sadder side of dog excrement. Rachel went a lot to the park with her mum because they have no garden. She still goes there, but it's not the same as before. Rachel can feel the sunshine, but she lives in darkness. She was blinded by Toxicara when she was four years old, a disease she caught playing in the park. Tests suggest that about two-thirds of the soil in public places is now contaminated with Toxicara worm eggs, too small to see. You only have to swallow one mature egg to risk the sight of an eye. For every week of the year, at least one child develops eye disease due to Toxicara. Out in the field, we now have Annabelle Lee, who is a dog warden from Richmond-upon-Thames Borough Council. A brief explanation on Toxicara. It's a common roundworm infection of dogs and cats acquired by humans worldwide in childhood by ingesting eggs. Symptomatic disease is rare but occurs particularly in children subject to picker. And the breakdown of picker, picker is the eating of strange things such as coal, earth or foods in great excess. <coughs> Sorry, the general consensus of opinion is that it is only dogs that carry Toxicara. Um, now, I have in front of me a copy of a report that was done last year on Toxicara in our borough. And they have done, the person who did the, did the report um, took soil samples from an area in the borough which is used by dogs and owners. And there is an area in the park where there is a dog-free zone for children to play. The, the study was taken and there were equal samples were taken of both dog and fox samples and the results showed that none of the dog samples, faeces samples or soil samples proved to have any Toxicara evidence in them, yet 40% of the foxes samples proved to be positive. And now we have an interview with the people who empty the dog bins for the Richmond Bar. If you go and have a look at the signs, uh, every bin there is a sign saying what, what the penalty is if you don't pick it up. But at the moment it is not law. We now have an interview with an ex-park keeper who wishes to remain anonymous so his appearance has been disguised. Hello, I'm an ex-park keeper. I left my job because I'm a Toxicara carrier. Now, I'm alone. I've lost my girlfriend, I've lost my friends. How I caught Toxicara is when I was trying to prevent the spread of it. I tried to clear up the dog excrement which was left behind by dog owners when I worked as a park keeper. Well now it's too late, isn't it? All I can say to you people out there, all you dog owners, please clear up after your dog. Thank you. Oh, hold on. I have just heard we have a dog owner who has strong views on Toxicara. Over to you. Toxicara is a disease transmitted through dog's mess um, from worms and from the eggs that they leave and uh, can be transmitted to humans. Do you think that the local borough is doing enough to control the spread of Toxicara? Our local council is trying, they provide bins in our local parks but there is nobody to check up that people do clear up after their animals so it's not enforced. Do you clear up after your dogs? Uh, I always clear up after my dogs. Um, every time I take them behind to the park, yes. Why do you think it is important to clear up after your dogs? Uh, I think it's important to clear up after the dogs so that um, the park is pleasanter for children and also I would not want to think that my animals may, may be responsible for passing any infections on to children. The only happy side of dog excrement is if the owners clear up after their dogs. Now we have, now we have a demonstration on how to pick up your dog's feces. All you do is use, and this is one of many of the variety of scoops that are available on the market. Um, this particular one has cardboard handles, so you don't actually have to touch it. 
you can get devices that work on a long handle or just a straightforward plastic bag will do. But this is how this particular method works. Okay, bend down over the bending, scoop up. <laughs> Dogs like it a lot.